The Quarantine Cup is of course brought to you by Nikijo Collectibles. Enter code NOLAN5 at checkout for 5% off sealed and singles on the site. Um, I personally picked up my case of Burst of Destiny for I believe it was $1,070 after entering code NOLAN5 at checkout. They do do more than just sealed though, they do do singles. Honestly, probably the most competitive prices on the market for everything at launch. Uh, they do also have a little bit of a back catalogue going on with some alternate rares and secret rares that they're updating all the time, so do check them out. And of course, entering code NOLAN5 at checkout makes it all the cheaper. But let's get on into the video. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Nolan TCG. And we are back here for another week of Quarantine Cup, or another match. Uh, this is our final of this week. And I am, of course, joined by Jake. Oh. And Logan. Hi. And uh, we are here to watch Andrew, again, doing very well with mutants. Buy your mutants now. Italy 2. Go. Uh, he's up against Fox, who is actually a new player in our tournaments. Who's playing Crack, I think. Good feedback, guys. Good feedback. Good feedback. <laughs> Good I way said to continue. Fox. Logan said nothing. Nothing. He's too busy resolving Pot of Desires in Pendulum. <laughs> That's right. It's it's the fourth episode <laughs> of us talking about Pendulum at the start. Here we go. Um. So yeah. So Fo we have Fox Dragon opening up happening. with Dragon things. Yes, he has two free special summons. That is going to be good, as they say in the business. Andrew, of He's course. He's confused as to what he does here. <laughs> Not normally do they have three monsters on board without really having to do anything. But I hate Noctivision. Nah, Noctivision's great. Used to be a nah. very good Dragon Maid card. <laughs> Noctivision, fair and balanced. Fair and balanced Dragon Maid card. I mean, it's not the worst card that's ever existed, I just don't like it. <laughs> what card do you like? Um, Alice to the Dragon Invoker. Specific. Well, that goes without saying. Yeah. Do you know what card I really like? What card do you really like? Uh, the new oh, Agent damn, that's of crazy. Destruction Venus. <laughs> <laughs> what does the new Destruction Venus do, Jake? So many things. Is, is it, it's is actually it, really good for the deck. I'm really excited. We might as well talk about it now because Dragon Link combos are boring as fuck, so. Wow. Okay. Am I wrong? No, I'm not even watching it. <laughs> Classic. So I can hear the fucking yeah, we can wheel hear of your mouse. mouse. Yeah, that's how boring this combo is. Because your microphone is just like, I'm gonna pick up everything. Oh, really? That's. That's crazy. Even that phone oh, that just went yeah, off. Yeah, they got that phone message. <laughs> that is. Well, you want to know who that is? That is my the verse of the day. The verse of the day, ladies and gentlemen. What oh, is your verse Lord. of the day? Uh... Ah, that's a very good verse. I'm now going to unmute you so that people can hear you talking again. For everything <laughs> that was written in the past. Was Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I did indeed mute you again. Yeah. <laughs> You're still muted. I'm sure you won't talk about Bible things, then you're allowed to speak. Never. I didn't actually keep him here as he took the Lord's name in vain, but, you know. I should have unmuted him when he took the Lord's name in vain. I, I never did that. Yeah, you did. We, we have it. We have it. We never have done that. <laughs> also, I'd like to point out, Logan. Please don't bring up anything about my work while we're on the thing. It's no, 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 you can bring it up. Oh, proceeds no, bring to bring it. up his work. You can bring up my work, we just can't make bad jokes anymore like Lockton does. They were great jokes, what are you talking about? No, no. <laughs> they were quite fine jokes. I disagree. The height of humour. Some would say, not actually jokes and maybe a little bit of truth. <laughs> <laughs> You're only saying this now because you put your... Your welcome frame back up. Nah, the welcome, the welcome frame's still not up. Right, surely that's going back. Look. Pendulum. I'm just going to change it to just say Pendulum. That way the the people will be very confused when they show up and they're like, didn't this used to say something else and now it just says Pendulum? <laughs> now Paul Lockland's going to feel, really feel attacked. 
Pendulum. Like, wow, no, no pendulum people are allowed. That's it's, assuming uh, that Lachlan watches these, and I'm very confident he doesn't. I think, wasn't Ben referring to the, the sign? No, I'm talking about a pendulum. Pendulum! Exactly. Oh. Speaking yeah, of yeah, Dracula's like still going despite the massive tangent that we've been on. Well, yeah. yeah. Tangents are good tangents. This is a quality, quality, quality tangent. That was, that was a natural tangents tangent. are good tangents. Wow. Yeah. The best words tangents are, good words. are natural tangents. Sometimes tangents are just great. Like, yeah. sometimes like you go on a tangent and sometimes Andrew gets one card ripped out of his hand by Levy in here. Oh, damn. We're going on a good tangent there. Now we're back to the Yu-Gi-Oh. We're not back to the Yu-Gi-Oh. That didn't happen. I don't know, we're still on a tangent. Yeah. What's your favourite tangent, Jake? Uh, the one where I get to fully discuss the Agent of Destruction Venus. Damn, that's crazy. Ben, what's your favourite tangent? <laughs> Mine are the, those ones that are kind of like oranges, but they're not oranges. That's a tangerine, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's one of the best jokes you've made, and you've made so many bad ones. I quite yeah. like that. Uh, oh, I love it. The height of humor. Dragon League is still going. Yeah, of course. They never stop. There's full combo. Some would say they don't stop coming. Back to the rules and you hit the ground running? I don't know how the next line went. I, I just thought that, it was going to Did stop that come through on Burst coming. of the Day? <laughs> yeah, my Burst of the Day is just all stars by Smash Mouth. Yes. <laughs> Most of the day is just yeah, lines just from like Shrek. This, and they don't stop coming every day. <laughs> every day, and they don't stop coming dot dot dot. <laughs> so guys, should I be playing Ordai's Revolution Dragon in my Pendulum list? I'm unsure. The yes. one that searches Dark Worm? Yeah. Yes. Yes, you should. But is it a Garnet if you draw more than one? Sure. But don't play a... more than one Dark Worm, then you're fine. Wait, is it a Garnet if you draw more than one? Just pen summon it. What's well, this? Uh, that oh, one's fine, but be. this thing is like eleven. Yeah, oh. it can't be pendulum summoned. I don't think. I think it needs to like tribute certain things to get on the board. All I know about that card is that Jesse Cotton played it in like a chaos deck to search a uh, chaos monster. Well, yeah, you search the prize card with it. Yeah. Speaking be. of that, the prize card's been reprinted. How how does that card get summoned? It's banished. Um, one yeah, it works wonder. like a chaos monster. Yeah. Yeah, like hmm. most chaos monsters. This could be played in pendulum. For what benefit? To summon it? Oh, Pendulum yeah, well, Stones well, over with well an Appaloosa done. and a Heretic Seal. No Savage on this end board, quite Wait, interesting. so the entire time he didn't lock himself into Dark? Nope, he never activated no. Tracer. And if he did, yeah. we're not acknowledging Ooh. it. Andrew opening the one of at the time e -telly. Yeah, soon it's not going to feel as good when he activates both. Oh yeah, that card's not hard once per turn, oh no. <laughs> He's going to summon both mutants from deck on one turn using two easily. Yep. Also doing it in the standby phase because he's almost definitely opened an extra trap that he wants to resolve. Should he use it in the draw phase so it can't be trolled? Damn. I mean, that would matter if it added to hand. The M5? No, the e -telly. The yeah, M5, M5, yeah, M5 yeah, adds. <laughs> True. We've got a negate with Apple. Is M5... m five a monster search, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. The letters dictate what they do. M is monsters, S T is spell trap. Damn, that's we've been crazy. over this. Damn. Now Andrew will activate his extra. That's crazy. I think that none of us attracted. I'm sure we don't know the answer. But do we know what the last card in um, Lager's hand is? Uh, I could be another tracer. Um. I oh, know both traces have come into play. Um, I do not know. It could be a starter of some description, which is why he's kept the boot sake launch. True. I will come back to it later as to whether or not I play Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon and Chaos Emperor in my pendulum deck. Oh, Damn. now Rex Travis going straight for M5's effect. Pendulum. He's going to Pendulum Summon M5. Pendulum. This is his magic for Appaloosa, right? Yeah, I'm assuming this is to bait the Appaloosa. No. <laughs> so now he's Appaloosa's board. stuffed because it just gets... It well, beat. no, you'll see this thing in the EMZ will just bounce it. 
If you'll activate that to be on set, the M5 activates the Appaloosa negates. So... Well, the, the Arsenal activates and the Appaloosa negates it. And then it gets bounced. You just has something to play through. Like any extra play. Actually, I don't even think it will get bounced because I'm pretty. Like the way that he usually plays that line is that he um, tributes it in order to do the negate. So then oh. he'd have to bounce one of his own cards. Oh. Which is fine because he just bounces back the boot sector. Well, he'd activate the bounce first. Yeah, but it doesn't target. The bounce. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. Well, then he just bounces back his own boot. Yeah, he just exactly. bounces his own boot tech launch. Yeah. Just very surprised I had to tell you of all people how Heavenly Spheres. Ben's a monkey. Works. Don't. don't ask yeah. This you seem to be forgetting that the only time I remember it doesn't target is when my opponent looks me dead in the eyes and goes, target. And I'm like, ha ha, you will see, sir. <laughs> he only remembers that when he can really stomp it into his opponent. Yes. Uh. Okay. What, uh, I think Appaloosa that... negated the M5. Oh. I think it, was, it must have been like Miss Red or something. The monster? Oh, oh mutant right. right. Mm. Doesn't matter. My it's going for mutant fusion. Right. Oh, mutant fusion. My, sorry, mutant fusion. My stuff. mutant fusion. You can manage the materials from deck. What's the restriction on mutant fusion for it to activate? Nah, your opponent has to activate the effect. Yeah. yeah. Damn. That's crazy. It's Shadol Fusion. But if worse. You required oh. your opponent to interact. I wouldn't say it's worse than Shadol yeah, it's, Fusion. It's not terrible. You can activate not... this against Backroad X. <laughs> Missed. Oh no. Synthesis touches board. I really like the arts on these mutant cards. Oh, I do not. They look disgusting. Exactly, that's the point. H seal activating, synthesis activating, Appaloosa activating. Well, no, the synthesis doesn't leave the field. True. The synthesis is a negation. Appaloosa then negates, allowing H seal to resolve. No. Yep. Wait, that's not. Oh yeah, no, because it's not a negation. Um, the synthesis it just makes itself unaffected. So attempted to pop the seal. seal Which was interesting. Out. I don't feel like you target tempted... seal in that scenario. Eh. I feel like you probably well, just target by targeting seal, seal he forced seal, and he's still got two cards in hand. So he feel he must feel like he can still play. Yeah, I guess so. But if he targets brute sector, happily from the gate chain. Two cards. Will one of these two cards be? Uh, there can be only one. Almost definitely. You mean Tisabu? No, it's Bodok. No. Tabok. It's Bodok. Mm. Bodok. Bodok. Be there it only like one, can. Be there only like one. Blu-ray. Be there only one, can, the. What talk? Remember, there's a comma between the can and the the because the is the person that you were talking to. Botic. There are only one big hand. The. It sounds kind of Yoda-ish in that sense. There only one can be. I'm sure there's a bit in Star Wars where he actually says there can be only one. No, that's in the Highlander. <laughs> no, but like I swear they've referenced it in Star Wars before. They can. It's the rule of two. To be fair, they they probably have. All right, they made eight movies. Only two of them were really good. There okay. can only be two, no more, no less. Not one, Isn't two. Nine. No, it's Sith. Sure. It's, it's the rule sure. of two. God damn it! Sure. Listen there's, there's to me. Nine. I'm telling there's you the nine. truth. <laughs> sure, there's nine movies. There's a few good ones. I like how whenever it switches back over to Dragon Link's turn, we just immediately stop talking about the game. <laughs> it's a tangent. <laughs> Fox be doing Fox things. He topped the Nationals and the Oceanics. Same weekend. Did he? Yep. Yeah, he, he topped the 2018 one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he's like, better than me. He topped the same event. Yeah. And hasn't but stopped he talking the, about it. <laughs> he topped, yeah, but he topped the Oceans, so he's better. What did you top at that event, Jake? The kebab shop down the street after an X3 drop. <laughs> I wasn't in the Nats. If that's the one you're talking about, I was in 
You're in the nice, you went in the oceans. Oh, that's right. Yeah, no, I didn't. Yeah. Because I made a terrible, terrible deck choice. What did you I, play? I made a budget deck choice. I played play Invoked? Uh, Invoked Sky Striker. That was a poor choice. Yeah, because we didn't have Hayate, so there was no down arrow. <laughs> oh, that was such an awful choice. Oh, place. yeah, that, requ that was a requirement, wasn't it? Oh. So basically, it was just Sky Striker spells to support your fusions. I like to not miss those days at all where you had to actually have zones for your extra monsters. I played Trick Striker, but with one engage. I played Trick Striker with I, three engage. I had enough money for five boxes of uh, the set, and then only pulled one engage from five boxes. I was like, Damn, shit. Damn, you got... You should never open sealed product. It never goes well for you. It never sure, goes well sure for you me. you could have just bought three engages at that price. Uh, but then you need to buy the rest of the deck, because anchors were also like 60 Oh, bucks. anchors were like 60 at that time, yeah. Yeah. I think even Thanks. afterburners were some money, weren't they? Yeah, afterburners, afterburners were 20s. 20. Yeah. I remember to I played nine. And to, I think nine ben, uh, to think, Ben, I had the money to buy the engages and the afterburners and the widow anchors, and I <laughs> used them in a trash deck. Ah, yeah. To to think, isn't that funny, Ben? Pretty isn't funny. That funny. <laughs> nah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, uh, yeah. Setting up for then the OGK next day, that I beat like five Sky Striker Trickstar players in a row. Yeah, you beat maybe Lachlan cost Cusick. thirty dollars. Yeah, I did. Mm. And you beat his yeah. weird friend. Yeah, that weird dude. Yeah. Very weird dude. He keeps trying to add me on Facebook. Very weird dude. Really? Yeah, he keeps trying. He yeah, keeps he's adding me. In like at least. I, three I know. Years. Like it, it started like two years ago. He added me on Facebook, and I immediately declined. And I've just gotten sporadic oh, attempts to add him. There, oh, there, there it, is. it is. There's T-Bock. B can one one only there. <laughs> yeah, yes, that card. Why'd you say one twice? One's not in there. Twice. Because <laughs> because it's a mutant card. <laughs> it's more and more devolved. Soon he'll just call it. One. Yes. <laughs> ah, one. <laughs> one continuous of, trap. When there's two of them on the field, you be like, ah, one, one. Ah, yes. One and one makes two. And one and two makes three. Resolve solemn strike. It really needs this to be an extra double coming. It's, it's not. It's a set card. Is this a quad borrow be down? I'm pretty sure quad borrow can pop the. There can only be one. Uh, sure. Let's have a look. I discard one target, target one face up monster on the field. Um, oh, so I can target itself. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it doesn't have to do. But it's a reborn. And then it's a reborn. Yeah. Well, I don't think he has to do the reborn section, right? Like it's not compulsory. Um, I don't think it's special. I don't think it pops. <laughs> yeah, it does. Does it? Destroy the targeted monster then if it was a link or stuff. Ah, uh, yes. However, it doesn't pop up. So if it just pops thing. itself and then summons Chaos Levy, it gets rid of the two back row. Uh, no. <laughs> Has to summon rockets. No, no, no. He does oh, if he, does, if he chooses not to, yeah, sure, but he's looking at his graveyard, so. Whoop. No, yes. no, no. Yeah, it's crazy. Levy. It's Levy time. Find this rocket sinker on you, but. Please be a strike, please be a strike, please be a strike. Pendulum. It's an impermanence. Ooh. And it's just as good because you can't attack with the levy, can you? Oh, he has. I think it's the turn you resolve this effect. Um. I think it's in the earlier part of the text. Yeah, but you cannot uh, attack for the rest of the turn. Apply the effect based on the attributes, but it cannot attack. See, if effect not, effects not apply, I can still attack. Going to game two. Okay, Andrew gets to go first and set all these floodgates. So many floodgates. So little time. So, Jake, I have a question for you. Uh, in between these two games here, I need to ask you one question that's very important. It's been playing on my mind. Sure it's not, but go ahead. Which Die Hard movie is your favourite? None of them. No, no, no. None of them. Ah, that, that's a pretty good Die Hard movie. <laughs> is Die Hard movie a Christmas movie? Surely not. 
There's Christmas in it. Does that make it a Christmas movie? In my opinion, no. Does that make it blasphemous? <clears throat> no one answers. Interesting. What are you expecting me to answer? The answer must be no. Does it make it blasphemous to talk about Christmas? No. Do you know what blasphemy means? Yes. Hey, guys, I'd like to point something out right now. Uh, the background for Celestial Magician and Skulker about Joker is the same. The star placements are identical. Yep. Yes. And? Is, there, is... is there more to this tale? Um, they're dating. Which one's Celestial Magician again? Let's have a... Wow. Man doesn't know his magicians. Yeah, man doesn't know his pendulum. The person that started pendulum. us on the pendulum rant. <laughs> Four episodes oh, ago. The new one. To be fair... I still don't know what this actually does, but I assume it's good. Uh, to be fair, Jake, adds, you know what the best interface. pendulum card is? Harmonizer? The Great Bingo Hall. Yeah, Great no, Bingo Hall is the best yeah. pendulum yeah. card. The best pendulum support you'll ever see. Yep. Anyway, guys, with this karma's normal special summon, apply these following effects for the rest of the turn. Basically, the other monsters you currently control. Let me read you the Great Bingo Hall's effect. <laughs> oh, wow, the Celestial Magician's actually really good. Yeah, it's quite good. I have to go on Dueling Book to find it, but one day, then, I'm going to read it. One I'm gonna read him the Great Bingo Hall effect. The Great Bingo Hall is the best piece of pendulum support ever. Yeah, that's just that's just a true state of fact. It it also is like if you want to make someone salty, that's the card. Activate the bleak, the Great yeah. Bingo Hall. So am I getting FTK or do I just have to sit here? Yeah, you Welcome just have to, to create you, a you get an FTK. <laughs> Welcome to create a card, my friend. But the Great Bingo Hall commits an FTK. Comment below if you play Creator Card and you get and you get FTK'd. I feel like that's all Creator Card should be. It's just FTKs. It surely has to it's be. Such, it's such a cancel. No, it's not though. It's like pseudo FTKs. It's just like, oh, yeah. I haven't killed you first turn, but also you can't play a single card and I'll kill you next turn. It's all also like my card on field is unaffected by everything. <laughs> it's people that play like seven. It's like all my monsters in hand are impermanent, but I don't need to control no monsters. But that's fair and balanced, I tell you. <laughs> I love that about our community. People think that they know how to do card design and that they can do it like in an unbiased way. Well, to be fair, make these massively fucked up cards. To be fair, me and Ben do. Doesn't surprise me at all. Clearly, because you know, Great Bingo Hall was very balanced when we were playing it in Dark Lord Danger. Yeah, it was very balanced if you weren't playing Pendulum. The yeah. moment you were playing Pendulum, <laughs> so it's not, not our balanced. fault the cards broken. It's Konami's really. It's Pendulum's fault. We need to put more Pendulum cards on the ban list. Yeah, yeah, Pendulum. It, it justifies Konami's absolute disdain for Pendulum. Yeah, because it facilitates the Great Bingo Hall, the greatest card in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. For those who are wondering what it does, the Great Bingo Hall is if you control five number monsters, you win the duel. Yeah, and I feel like if you want to know more about this card, you should watch Ben's video on his channel. What if Yu-Gi-Oh was bingo? <laughs> yeah. And subsequently, I believe that coincides with the first week of Quarantine Cup. I think it does, because in that first week, we're like, what if bingo? Well, no, we were like, what if bingo? And then we posted the bingo video before realizing that all your files for the recordings had corrupted. Oh, so we yes. had to re-record those, being like, what oh, if bingo? bingo. Oh. Ha 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 ha, so funny. And then halfway through, we were like, yeah, look, we recorded something. We made a drink about bingo. Move on. What could these back rows be? Nothing... Uh, torrential Tribute, Solemn Strike, Mutant, whatever it's called, and Mutant Cry. What if they're all Mutant cards and they can't do anything? Or they're all bluffs. That would be unfortunate. The on the battle phase now, though, so either that's as far as his combo can go, or he's trying to Surely out not. Back row. Yeah, it, maybe he's trying to do 3k chip damage before he starts playing again. I, I did. Yeah, cool. Ooh. IDP. That's big. To be fair, it's not as big as it could have been. I think he was probably, yeah, Andrew was probably holding out for when he went for, like, a savage. Yeah. Oh, you get rid of the collapse over here, yeah. Yeah. There it goes. 12 resolve. You know what? 
Dragon Link really needs? Mm -hmm. The ability to summon Window. Trap Trick. Ooh, it, trap trick I'm curious end, as to why he hasn't pushed through harder. I'm thinking he just doesn't have a hand that's like particularly conducive to doing it. I guess. And the mutant cry is gonna get set. Cry. That shuffles back mutant, so we won't be able to activate it this turn, will we? No. That is correct. Wait, I thought cry I saw it doing from deck, does it not? No, uh, mutant fusion does them from deck. Cry shuffles them back from banished. I thought cry summons from deck. Oh, no, it's, it's a fusion sign. Okay, yeah. It's not the, uh... Interesting. S six. Banishes face down. Drawing two. I also really appreciate how Andrew's picture is shifter. Yeah, look, valid. He hasn't seen it either game, so... City... Ooh. Some more back row, jeez. Could, he could really use the telly back at two. Now he's got no zones activated in. <laughs> Unless it's already set. Oh. Dun dun dun. Yeah. Romulus beatdown. Curious. <laughs> he probably just don't want to commit and get flooded out and then lose. Interesting that Andrew has put cards in all his zones already. Like, he yes. hasn't left himself a free spot to, like, extra or anything. Interestingly, like, if he just keeps attacking with Robulus, he could very well have locked himself out of the game. Yeah. If he has only nothing, he can activate. Does something. Is happening. I don't know. He draws uh, the card. It's ah okay. Right. Okay. That was interesting. Well, now he knows that he's going to be playing into that at some point, so that's fun. <laughs> Droplet. Uh, on a zero attack monster. What do you send? Sends a trap. I'm not That's sure interesting. To the zero attack monster. A traps the yeah. I've I've never been hundred percent sure whether you can drop with something that has zero attack already, because it has to have the attack and then negate the effects. Yeah, so I think the trap makes sense because more than likely Andrew's back row is all trapped, so he wouldn't be able to then respond. Called by the grave. Uh, he must have a trap that he wants to respond with. No? No, he just needs <coughs> to clear them. I think he wants to set a card. Yeah. I was the mutant fusion. Nice. Ugh. Oh. Man, this is yuck. It is. It is. Like mutants themselves are just yuck. So many e oh, so great. little time. But gentlemen, we're down to 14 minutes until the G1 starts. I forgot about that. This match needs to hurry along. Comment below who you think is going to win the G1, viewers. My money was on Zack Sabre Jr. until he lost the other day. Did he lose again I, in the meantime? Because this I, video I is going just, up after his next match. I cannot believe they had him lose. Yeah, I couldn't believe... I, I, When you look at his run home, he had to lose that match, otherwise he wasn't going to lose. 
Like, surely he doesn't lose another. He can't lose another. What if he does? Then I will. Yeah, be Logan. But what if he does? I will be <laughs> so unsure of my own life. Oh, we have a bounce. Uh, he can just then make it unaffected by the trap, right? So. <laughs> uh, yes. Soon. Andrew is viewing the graveyard. Interestingly, this card has been targeted. The other fusion spell. Oh, the trap card. Uh, yeah, yeah the I suppose that trap. stops him from pushing the game this turn. Yeah, it stops damage. Do you reckon he's playing one red ruby? Maybe. Like, Fox would have come in with no knowledge of it. As people often do when they burst mutants. <laughs> well, no, like, we have the luxury of knowing Andrew's a monkey who does play mutants. Wow. Okay. Gentlemen, I have a question for you. Yes? Um, I don't know. <laughs> that is that is technically a question, so I'll give it to you. That is the end of my TED talk. Damn, this guy's good. <sighs> Droplets sending the quick launch. That's interesting. I mean, now just respond with the thing make it unaffected by spells. Like, is yes. he just baiting him into something? Gamma. Gamma. I feel like when he dropped it, there was just no reason. Strike! Yeah. Strike! Oh, the plays! I mean, to be fair, what did the gamma besides getting rid of that monster? The gamma sits on its own. Uh, well, it's game. <laughs> he he was, he just ends like he puts himself to the driver and the car he summons for quick launch and just attacks with it. He can't summon the driver. There can only be one. It, it, they can only once chilling one, so it will resolve backwards, and he can choose what to send. Oh, true. I hate that. That is disgusting. Disgusting. That would have been interesting to see. Eleven minutes to the G one. Thinking of what target he needs to summon. It is a rocket tracer. Not true who summon over. Sure. Jeez. That works. So he had driver and gamma in hand, that's rough. That explains why he wasn't pushing that hard in the first turn. Crash. The thing is, like, Andrew's only got two extra monsters left. Oh, that's valid, yeah, there's only two cards left in there. However, Cry recycles it. So as long as he has another one in hand. As long as he another one. But also, his mutant dying means he gets one of the banished ones back so he can start getting through the deck again. This is true. I mean, if he has Cry now, he game, right? Well, Cry got reset again last turn, right? Yeah, yes. so this can surge, this then summons one, and then you can Cry to summon the fusion and then attack the game. Yep, I think that's how it's gonna go. Damn, that's crazy. Another teak boo tucked up his sleeve, ready? Another another one. Another Is copy it? of one. Another copy so of one. So you had to banish that one because you can't have more than one. You can only have one. How there much ones would a one 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 one? How much fish could it's be? It's not fish as dry tongue twistery if fish. they're all the same word. No, <laughs> Guys, look, I was right. Cry. It's crazy. Fusion summon This is game? This is game. Oh, yeah, this is very much game. exact game. Wow, and he still had another fusion left in the extra deck. That's busted. Classic. Play the music. So how long till the G one, Ben? Uh, ten minutes. Oh no, nine minutes. Nine, nine minutes, minutes to fighting with a real sword. Yeah. 
We might have to put. Is it going to start it. at that time though, or is it just when the coverage is meant to start? Well, we're gonna we gotta see the fighting with the real sword. Yeah. I'm very confused. Real muscles live, Jake. Real muscles live. Sounds like the worst shit that could ever be on television. Power sign. All I'm saying about it is if we get like within three minutes of the year one, that fast forward button becomes much more appealing. It does become a juicy fast forward button. <laughs> and then if the people really cared that much about the action, they can put us on 0.25 speed or whatever. 0.5 speed? Not 0.5 speed, I don't think. That's a little bit too much. Well, 0.25 is even slower. <laughs> If only we were doing this in the old format where you used to record them and we'd know exactly how much time was left. Yeah, instead we don't know how much time is left. Yeah, but Craig ruined that. Yeah, Craig ruined that. Damn Craig. Yeah, I remember well, Craig. you trusting people named Craig. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you're named Craig, tell us in the chat. Tell us in the comments. Or don't, we don't Do, care. In America, don't they pronounce it Craig? Craig. Yeah. Craig. Ugh. Craig. Yeah, the A and I get replaced with the E. Craig. 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 He's rushing along. I swear I, I haven't hit fast forward. Time. It must be close to the time. Oh. Ooh, chaos space. That's some decent mills. Absolutely. Get the Lancia. Get the Lancia. <laughs> that's no, his hand's good when he's got all that <laughs> stuff to get. Oh, that's pretty good. Does the Absurdo not trigger there? It does. He didn't activate maybe it. No <laughs> maybe he has no targets. He's just activated a quick launch. Or maybe he's choosing not to activate so we can activate the quick launch. Maybe he's only got one target left. One target, Dios mio. <laughs> Shut up. Six minutes to the G1. I reckon you should fast forward the dragon link combo. Maybe. Because we've seen that before. Time to fast forward the Dragon Link combo. <laughs> this isn't that fast. Whee! So we see the Levy. Levy gonna rip a card. That from Tystra. Rips that one. Striker Dragon goes back. Who would have thought it? Of only discard Who thought it would have... Oh my god, he's discarded <laughs> the Tiding with the Chamber Engraved. That's Pog Plays. Who would have thought Adds it would tiding. take us pressing the Goes into the double time. bounce play. We resume <laughs> regular speed. He didn't stand my face, the Lancia. Jesus. Curious. Who would... Who would have thought Ben only needed the fast forward button to activate for him to actually commentate the duel? I commentated that all perfectly. He's in the standard dragon made combo with double bounce. There's a levy as well. Plus yeah, a levy. He ripped a, he ripped a card, mate. Right? This is good. Ending on double bounce plus one dragon is really, really good. Is it? Yeah, because then you, if your H seal gets negated, you just bounce the other dragon. And there's the Lancia. Is the set five pass from Andrew? Curious as to why that Lancia wasn't standby phased, but hey. You may have been scared of a gamma? I guess. Oh no, he's played not he's played terribly in those make knights. This Seems isn't good. It wouldn't be the worst thing to chuck some Mech Knights in this mutant build, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> you think Mech Knight solves everything? It does. No, that's Alistair. Uh. No, honestly, Alistair causes more problems than he solves. Them. No, you can play Alistair in mutants. Yeah, that'd be great. I mean, with a 2 a tele, you could, but you wouldn't. Well, yeah, yeah, you'd have like five Makes it nine, nine normal summons. That's a good ratio of normal summons. Yeah, just bump it. Well, by the time he bumps no, up, no, 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 deck. no. What you do, you'd rely on the mutant field spell because you banish them with the fusion, and then use the mutant field spell to bring them back. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds fine. See, this is very. You should build this, Jake. Yeah, the Trust only it. issue is the mutant monsters are water. Hey, no, it's the big ones. Hey, always. hey, Cocytus is great. It's banned. Big... Cocytus is banned. It's banned. No, no, that's dual links Ben. Don't be stupid. Wait, they're different things. Yu-Gi-Oh! Dual links. Yeah, they are indeed different games. Wait, I thought cards hey, that were banned in Duel Links were also Alistair banned in Normal. Too. Hey, no. Yug, what did do? I imagine. Hey, Yug, what did do? What did do? The other day I was like, Alice is at 2, this isn't that big a problem, then I realized Invocation is also at 2. Yes. <laughs> was Wait, it, so you can... No, they're at 3. They're at 3. But they're limited to 3. 
Yeah, the dual links um, ban list is weird. See, we've seen the exact interaction I was talking about, where you end on the extra dragon, so if your H seal gets interrupted, it's fine. Perfectly fine. No, That's only two. To get this dragon link again. Yes, this could be game though in this next three minutes. Here we go. Twin twisters hits the back row. Summons the chamber. It goes into striker. Striker goes into two. That's a sink. That's a savage. Savage equip gets Nibiru. Big drop on the Nibiru. That's pretty huge. Adds the black dragon collapse open. Summons out the Levianir. Levianir resolve. Popping the Nibiru or ripping the card. No, ripping the card. Serious. Oh, okay, interesting. Now black dragon touches down. Goes into a H seal. Adds back the chaos dragon Levianir. Dragons ravine activates. Sends Absurana. Adds rocket synchron. Oh, normal no. summons. Oh, all that That's a huge. Oh, Summons back the Chaos Dragon, this starts the attacking. <laughs> this is a massacre! What have we witnessed here, people? And IP Mascarina! Oh, this is all shades of over. <laughs> this is all shades. That was absolutely massive. Hit the fast forward button. HCL activates, bouncing back that. Gonna go into the unicorn, discarding. Oh my Gets god. Gets a concession that's from that's Andrew. Big brain. That is big brain in that end play, holy shit.